Hi guys, so today I came with a new video tutorial. Uh, so we are going to interface Raspberry Pi with Alto 93D using Proteus. So let's quickly open our Proteus tool. So here is the Proteus 8 Professional. So I will open the software. and I will create a new project click on new project and here you can give the name of your project I will give the name as raspberry motor click on next we will leave this as it is click on next here we are not gonna change any option we will click on do not create a PCB layout now click on next now here uh, we need to select the option of create firmware project select that in family you need to select raspberry pi so here is the option if you scroll down you will get that option and uh, by default you will get a controller of Raspberry Pi 3 compiler Raspberry Pi 3 in the Proteus build now click on next here uh, you just have to click on finish now you will get two windows one is schematic capture and one is source code so what you need to do is you have to just remove this code because you don't want this as of now and we will go back to schematic we will select the entire schematic and move it in the center now you need to add few of the components like motor L293D that is a motor driver uh, you might be knowing about the hatch bridge if you don't you can check out my previous video I had interfaced a motor using Arduino so now uh, what we are gonna do is we are gonna add some IC and motor as I mentioned previously so let's jump to that I will click on parts so here I will type L29 here is the, uh, my device it says library analog description push pull for four channel drivers with diode click on that click ok now we are going to place it over here now our IC has been placed to control the motor now it's time to place the motor so again we will go back in parts type motor let's see what are the options we are gonna get so here uh, we need to select motor motors in library simple DC motor model so click on ok and just place it over here now since we placed all our uh, ICs and the actuator which is nothing but a motor Now it's time to make the connection. So, uh, what I will do is I will select pin which will be connected to pin IN1 and IN2 which controls the motor both sides 2 and 4 pins. Once I give enable only, then this pin will perform its action. So for this I have to keep it high and this pin goes to power supply and this goes to ground so uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, I will go in logic let's see what are the parts is available okay we cannot find it over here let's close this um, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna 
play some of the uh, I would say power supply and ground connection so I'm just looking for for that terminal yes here is the option so let's select ground let's place it over here one power supply and default default nothing is uh, it's just a input so let's place it over here and I need another yeah so these are the components we have placed now since we need to connect these two terminals to this one we will use 7 and 11 instead so what we are gonna do is GPIO 4 and 17 so first we will make this connection and let's re rename this so double click on it let's give the name as GPIO 4 GPIO 17 it is 17 yeah. okay now let's um, let's make a ground connection now uh, we need to connect this motor to driver so we will select out 1 and 2 so out 1 will be connected to one terminal of the motor and out 2 will be connected to another terminal of the motor so I assume all the connection has been turned so let me verify this okay so terminal labels are fine yes so basically these terminals what it will do uh, it will internally connect to these pins GPI 4 and GPI 17 just by giving the name to it it is not physically visible but yeah the connection has been established now it's time to write the code for our Raspberry Pi so I will go in source code now let's start coding Uh, first we need to import the library for the GPIO pin in Raspberry so let me type sorry let me type import Raspberry and GPIO as sorry small GPIO it says I'm importing the library and the name as GPIO. Now I need another library that is time for having some what okay. there was some typo error. Okay, so I want to import a library, time library, so that I can add some delay. Let me add that as well. From time import sleep sleep is nothing but a delay once it will rotate in a clockwise another will be anti-clockwise so that will be another one so now let's set up the port so i will mention as gpio gpio dot setup mode then GPIO dot board close the bracket next uh, let's give the name for the terminal so uh, sorry motor 1 that is terminal 1 equals to 7 motor motor 2 
will be terminal 11 so let me add this as a comment uh, motor terminal 1 I am not gonna type again so just copy paste and give the name as motor terminal 2 that's my comment ok now go back to gpio let me set that as a input so since it is the output so i will name it as motor setup motor 1 will be gp gpio dot out uh, so let's copy this again so, copy this again and press it over here just change the name let me add that as comment over here so that you can have a reference set as output port now now we need to write the code for performing the action here so perform action or let me be more specific motor action and now let's start writing the code so gpio output motor 1 comma gpio dot high which means the terminal 1 will be high so that it will rotate in clockwise and uh, we will keep the other terminal as low so that will act as a ground keep it as low yeah. and here I will add a small delay Second, if I am not wrong, three millisecond delay. Delay. Okay. So I need to run the motor again in the clockwise. So I am not going to type again. So I will just copy this, paste it over here. Uh, we will change this in opposite. So let's make it as blue, and this one as hi yeah done yeah now it is moving in clockwise direction now there will be a delay again back going to anti-clockwise direction and now this is something like end of the code so it had stopped it says the python process terminated it means the process has been ended so the code was still the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction so it's done so this is how the simple it is you can use the raspberry pi here for simulating your any of the project using uh, actuators, motors, 